Hello, hello my lovely, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a get ready with me because I have some makeup I recently bought and I never used or not used enough and I really want to and I want to show you a little bit of what I got but mainly I'm going to chat about my new puppy. Maybe you have noticed that I haven't been around uploading a lot so here's the reason why we are getting a little bit more in the groove of things so I finally am able to upload a little bit more, film a little bit more but I really want to tell you about my experience with Denver because because he is great, but there's a lot of stuff people don't tell you before you get a puppy. And I think you should know. And if this is your first time here, then hi, welcome. My name is Anna Chris, and on my channel, I want to inspire you to use a little bit of color every day. I play a lot with color. I also play a lot with neutrals, but what I want to do is create fun, colorful looks that you can wear actually every day. So you can play with color every day. I use mainly high-end and indie brands here on my channel, but I sometimes delve into some drugstore just sometimes. If this sounds interesting to you, if this is totally up your alley, then please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. I try to upload two times a week. I'm getting back to it, but I try to upload two times a week and sometimes I throw in a bonus video as well if I have the time. All right, I am going to start off with my new melt palette. It's the Mary Jane palette. I don't know if they, maybe they have even launched the new palette by now because I am so late to the game, but I think this is just such a stunning palette and usually I do like melt. I know they have some hits and misses, but I really love this color story. It's very neutrally, cool tone leaning and I think it looks really, really cute. And I am going to pair this with a very vampy red lip. So it's not going to be a very summery look, but who cares? I just want to play. I'm going to pull my hair back and I'm going to zoom you in so I can actually show you what I'm doing. It's kind of funny that I'm wearing these cute little minty green earrings and I'm going to have like a very cool toned eye look. But you know what? We'll see. I'm going to start off with um, Rubia. That's this one. It's not the lightest one. It's not the darkest one. It's just right in the middle. So we got a puppy. We got a... It's a Dutch breed. It's called a Friese Stabij. So it's from the same province as Doutzen Cruise comes from. Well, you all know Doutzen, I think so. Oh, this is quite dark. I'm using a refer number one brush if you want to know because it's a little bit stiffer. And these shadows are quite dark and I want to be able to blend very well. So yeah, that is why I'm doing that. I'm starting off in my outer corner as you can see. I'm not going to talk a lot about the makeup. I'm just going to talk about the doggy. Um, well, first thing, we picked him up when he was seven weeks. Now, in Holland, you can, by law, pick them up at seven weeks. It's better to wait until they're eight, nine, maybe even ten weeks. But normally you pick up a dog and this breeder usually lets the puppies leave the nest around eight weeks. But Denver is part of a litter of 12. Like 12 puppies. And the mom got a little bit frustrated at the end. So she was like, okay, I'm going to, um, I'm going to just let them go a week early. So we got him when he was seven weeks. And I must say, we got him sleeping, like not through the night, but okay-ish through the night when he, like within a week. But he was sleeping in his crate. The thing though, with his crate, he doesn't love his crate. So what happened is I did a lot of crate training. I've tried for weeks and I'm telling you like, 10 weeks to get him used to the crate. He doesn't love the crate. He still doesn't love the crate. And at some point I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm done. I'm not going to force this baby into a crate if he really doesn't want to go in there. We made it Disneyland, like truly Disneyland. It's very comfy. I made it bigger. I made it smaller. I changed it into bigger again. I had it like in the length switched places even he just doesn't like it he gets his food in there he gets his treats in there he has to go in there before he gets anything else we tried literally everything and he doesn't love his crate so but what i could do is when i um walked him like his last walk and um i put him to bed or I let him fall asleep and then we put him in the crate and then we could close the crate and then it was fine until the next morning. So that was a good thing. It's just annoying that I had to wait until he was, you know, like asleep. It was a bit exhausting. I'm going into Mari 
to uh, blend that shade out a little bit. And I'm taking another refer brush. This is the 15. It's also a little bit stiffer. But I think it's, you know, if there's a little bit more stiff, you can actually, if the shades are a little bit tougher to blend, I don't know if they are, they're blending beautifully. So it's okay, but it's easier to blend them with a little bit of a stiffer uh, brush, at least in my opinion, in my humble opinion. So I was like, okay, what is happening here? Because my dog really does not love to be in his crate. And at some point it got me so stressed out that I was like, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. For me, the crate is something temporarily and it's only if he loves the crate that it's going to stay in our home. And if he doesn't, then it's going to go and he's just going to get his own little bed instead of the crate. Because it's a big thing. It's in the living room and it's ugly. We just left him in the living room and it was fine. So since then he's living in, he's just sleeping in the living room and, um, we leave them there. This is really nice. Can I say these shades blend really nicely and I love the color. I love the shape it's giving to my eyes. Very cool. I'm going to go into some shimmery shimmers and I think I'm just going to keep it very neutral because I'm going to have a very um, red lip. <laughs> I think I will go into bow first. That's this one. This one and then I'm going to use Santa Maria for my lid, but I think it's even darker. Okay, I'm going to spray this because it looks really crumbly. So yeah, that's the thing. Okay, I'm going to go into Santa Maria. That's this one over here. I'm going to go with uh, on a holiday with my husband. We're going to, I think, Germany. We're going to try to go to Germany if we can. And when we come back from Germany, we're probably going to change the flooring because we have carpet and our little tyke. I'm going to go into this one kali kali is it's called kali yeah um the problem is when he when he came to us he was taught in like the nest that he had to go um relieve himself on uh, newspapers this doesn't pick up okay this is really crumbly and doesn't really pick up so that is a shame because the rest of the shimmers are really good so i'm going to spray my brush and get back in a bit a little bit more of my brush. I'm going to put this in my inner corner. It's just really flaky, but it's really beautiful. So um, he was taught or he learned to do his, um, his thing on newspaper. So I had a little newspaper toilet for him, but when he got a little bit older, he chewed up the papers, he chewed up the cardboard that was under there, he chewed up the puppy pads. So I was like, okay, this is not good. I also had this big thing box with some grass on the, um, uh, on the balcony, just, you know, to get him body trained on there. But somehow he just didn't get the message. And maybe I should have been, you know, um, more vigilant about it. We just let him roam the house. And I couldn't always see when he was peeing at the moment. So I didn't really get him up and put him on the place where he should be because I was late or too late most of the time. So I was just standing in a pot and I was like, oh, apparently he peed inside the house. Rose. So then I got some of those washable, not the disposable, but the washable or reusable. How do you want to call it? Puppy pads. And that first he was dragging them through the house because he didn't understand what to do with them so at some point i was like you know what i'm just if he pees i'm going to clean it up or i'm going to dry that up with that pad so the pad will smell like his pee and once it was really smelling of his pee and it was really reeking then he was like oh i should go on that thing and since then he has had very few accidents in the house. I think maybe once or twice a week. So he's finally getting somewhere near potty trained. But you don't want to know about our carpet. The carpet is gross. Gross. I washed it every time. I constantly was on the floor with three types of like detergents and soaps and special soaps to get like the enzyme soaps to get the pee stain and the pee smell out. But still, it's gross. So when we come back from our holiday we're going to change the flooring into uh laminated wood and i think that is going to be better because it's easier to clean it's also easier to clean because i walk 
him every day for uh, like well when he was a puppy you know not that long but for like an hour he can run free in like a forest or um, near like this uh, nature thing and he can swim and he can play and you just I think that is important for a dog to be loose every day for at least an hour, hour so he can just run free and play with other dogs and do his thing so he comes home and he can be really dirty you don't want to see about my car <laughs> Oh my god that car is so dirty but yeah i kind of really love how this is looking right now it is really vampy sultry but it was effortless i have to say this is very beautiful melt palette i am going to uh, put on some mascara and then i will be back and we will chat a little bit more uh, about what it's like to have a puppy and other people's opinion because that's the thing as well. I zoomed you out a little bit because I want to go into foundation. I used some primer from MAC and Smashbox. These two, I'm panning them, so I just used those. I'm going to take my little palette and I have a new or not new, new to me. I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I got it in the shade Light 5 and I got it when it was on sale at Douglas because we have Pat McGrath now in Holland online in Douglas. So that is really cool. I hope it's coming to the stores as well because it's just nice to swatch stuff and especially when it comes to foundations. I've used this I think once or twice and I really do love this foundation. It's really beautiful. I'm going to take two pumps. It's really runny as you can see. I'm going to start off with a brush. I'm very much into brushes, um, foundation uh, with brushes uh, right at the moment. It is a very nice match to my skin in winter I'm noticing now because I walk my dog a lot. I am also, I have a lot more tan than I'm used to but okay. The other thing that I was like, okay, nobody told me. And I was like, seriously? Everybody and their mom has an opinion on how you should raise your dog. Okay, I'm already unpacking it, but I got this new eye optimizing uh, concealer. It's full coverage concealer from Duclos, but I think it is in rose beige. Let me see. This is a protection shield. Yeah, like it's very... Ugh. Don't stick to my hand. It is very beige, as you can see. And I want to use this as like a dupe, I hope, for the eye brightener. Um, the one from Becca. Let me show you. This one. It's, it's not the same, but I thought it looked similar. It's just this one. This one is a lot lighter than this one. But I hope it's going to have the same effect. So we'll see. It's probably wishful thinking, but okay. I'm just going to take a little bit because I don't want to use it as a concealer. I just want to use it as like a base to cover these. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is really pink. And it's really full. You need like the tiniest amount. But it feels a bit the same. Okay. Let me take some off because this is way too much. And it's very brightening because it's like that rosy tone. And for me that really works. I think because I have more of a reddish, purplish darkness under my eyes. Okay, this is really full coverage. Well, it did do something. Can I zoom you in a little? This is the effect. I'm sorry, it's wobbly. I think it lays on my skin really nicely. It's not settling into lines yet. Yeah, well, okay. I wanted to put some concealer over that, so I'm going to. But it's very brightening. You see? Wow. Now, I have a concealer from Giorgio Armani. It's the Power Fabric one. I got it in the shade 2. Um, I did a video on what brands I wanted to try. Very smooth. Brands I wanted to try in 2021 and Armani is one of them. So I got this because it was on sale and I thought, you know what, let me, let me do that. It's a bit more beigey. So it's not <clears throat> like yellow toned. It's not very rosy toned. I'm going to put a little bit. Yeah, it's way more beigey toned than the one that I put on a need. Okay. Hmm. I hope this is going to work. I used this once and I really, really do like it. It's a really nice concealer. I'm going to take a sponge and I'm going to just blend it out. 
Um, so the thing is, at our puppy training, they were like, you have to neuter him right away because he's very dominant already. And the only, the only, I think, indication they had is the way he was walking around because he has a very proud way of walking. They said he had his tail up and yeah, I should get him neutered because he's very dominant. But me and my husband both, we don't want to neuter him just because. And our like vet also said it's not a good thing to just neuter your dog. So only if he has something he's showing really big behavioral issues or he's fighting a lot with other dogs because a lot of other dogs are smelling his testosterone and you get trouble with that but then you can also chemically castrate him so that's like a temporary thing but we just if we don't have to we we don't want to okay wow this is laying on the skin so beautifully so yeah we were like okay mm -hmm. they were at the thing is they also have like a doggy daycare and the thing is if you don't have if your dog is not neutered and he's young it is annoying in a i totally get that that in a group of dogs it's annoying to have a dog that is not neutered but just to do that because he's going to be obnoxious for a few months i don't think that is a good idea but to each his own okay i'm all powdered i'm going to finish um like the bottom of my eyes now because it look it looks a little bit Baldy, baldy. I'm just going to take a very small Morphe brush. This is the E36 one. I really want to get something like this from a high-end brand. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just being silly. I'm just going to take my refers. I'm going to take a refer number three brush. It's this big. I love these for my under eye. So I'm going into that Rubia shade. So the first one I started off with and I'm just going to run it um, uh, on my lower lash line. Now at the end of the puppy course, they were like, okay, we think you should reconsider neutering him. I'm not reconsidering anything. You were saying I needed to neuter him, not me. But they said, you know, you should reconsider that or just think twice because he is a little bit more nervous and he needs his self-esteem to be as good or as big as it can get because he's a bit nervous and if if you are neutering your dog he's going to or he runs the risk of getting even more insecure and you don't want to do that and i was like radio you should really get to know my dog before you form an opinion so for me in the first few weeks i was so overwhelmed everybody had an opinion you want to do it right you want to do right by the dog people are saying he's eating the plants you shouldn't take away the plant you should teach him not to do that he's like what 15 weeks i'm trying but you know if he doesn't want to listen i just really want to get away get your plants out of the way because otherwise he's going to eat them which is not good for him and it's not good for your plan so what are we gonna do and of course i'm training him to drop things or to leave stuff you know the leave it command and the drop command and the go by command stuff like that i'm teaching him that and he's getting really good at it but sometimes or when he was younger it was a little bit more difficult same as the toilet training uh, or the potty training how do you call it in like doggy language um People were like, oh, he should be knowing that by now. But there were also people that were like, it took us almost a year before he started, oh, before he stopped having accidents in the house. So take your time, let him be, make sure you go out enough. So, you know, he has the opportunity to do it right. That is what we're doing right now. I'm going to do, no, I'm going to go into my face. I'm going to use the Kaleidos Cool and Light Charisma Contour Palette because I think it's really beautiful and I don't pull it out. Uh, enough i'm going to contour i think so that is a thing i really need to, to needed to get used to but also form some thick skin for because at the end of the day as i said you know your dog best and you do what you want to do with your dog and maybe you're doing it wrong it's my first pancake i'm just looking at denver as my first pancake i grew up with dogs but i never really had the responsibility of um training my own dog so it's a first for me and I'm just going to screw him up. I know I will, but I'm doing my best and he's doing his best. My husband is doing his best and we can do more than that. I'm going into the bronzer with the refer number five brush. So yeah, I think that at the end of the day, you really have to follow your own gut. And what really helps or really helped me was not 
only watch videos if you're doing the YouTube route because you can, you totally can. You have some very great channels. I will leave a few uh, down below that I really, really love. Try, if you want to fix a problem or if you want to teach your dog something, try to also find YouTube channels that show you a problem dog. So not only the trainer type of like, how do you stop leash pulling? And then you see a trainer with a very well behaved dog um, trying to teach the dog not to pull on the leash, which he isn't doing in the first place that much. Also watch videos where you see really like problematic behavior in a dog and how that trainer is going to get rid of that. So you can go watch Caesar Milan, for example. I think his like alpha uh, domination type of approach is a bit too much for me. I really love Victoria Stilwell. I really love her. I really love the way she embraces them, like reward them or um, she's very much into like a positive way of teaching your dog. So by making sure that if he's scared of something that he gets his, that he gets a positive association with something, she also uh, she also does disciplining uh, the dogs. It's not like oh you know sometimes you really have to um, have a firm hand with your dog because he has to know who's boss. But she does it in a way that is not harming the dog. It's not nice for the dog, but it's not harming him, and it's putting him in, in his place in a very dog friendly way that he understands what is expected of him. Okay, I'm going to go into the Chantecai. I think it's a it's the Radiance Cheek Chic and Highlighter Duo. So it's mainly a highlighter, but it has a very corally uh, shade as well. So I'm going to put that on my cheeks. So sometimes you just have to watch like the problem dogs, not even because they have the same behavior as your dog or your dog is not or your puppy is not displaying that type of behavior yet, but you but you can already see what she is doing and how she is teaching the dog to uh, show the type of behavior that you want in your dog. And I really love that. So I will leave her, her channel uh, link down below. Okay, this formula is really stiff. So it takes me a little bit of scraping in the pan and then going at it. But it's really nice. It's a very nice, bright, summery shade. And I really also want to use the highlighter, but I have enough, another highlighter from Bare Minerals. It's dirty, from Bare Minerals. This is the Joy Highlighter. This is the highlighter um, Angelica Nyqvist loves. And I was like, okay, I really want to get that. And the thing was on my wish list forever. So I finally took the plunge. I go, I'm going to take my Luxie 737 tapered highlighting brush and I'm just going to go in lightly because there's a lot of my brush on my brush already. But it goes really beautifully. Oh wow. She wasn't kidding. She was not kidding. This is stunning. It is so beautiful. I'm going into lips. I'm going to use my Ruby Woo uh, pencil. I'm going to get, oh, this is so annoying. Okay. I'm not going to color it in all the way. I just want to have a little bit. Don't talk and do this at the same time. Okay, I did a very sloppy job with my lip pencil, but okay. But I have, it's the Power Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color in the shade Max Smash. It's a very bright Powder Kiss formula lippy and I think it looks stunning. I really love this formula so I wanted to have it in a red as well. I got it because of Charlotte Holdcraft. This is a stunning formula and it's a stunning color in this formula. My god. Okay I did a very sloppy job with that as well but yeah I really do love this look, I really do love how this came together. I'm going to fix my hair a little bit. Yeah, this is nice, right? I really love that like sultry look. I'm forgetting my eyebrows. Let me get back to you. Okay, yeah, this makes more sense. I just used the It Cosmetics. I think it's brow, yeah, brow power. I think it's in like a universal shade. There's no such thing, but okay. But it's very nice and flattering on my eyebrows. 
So yeah, what I wanted to say to you, if you're getting a puppy or if you already have a puppy and you feel totally overwhelmed, girl, it's normal. It's very normal. Nobody told me this. A lot of people I ran into that had like younger dogs or almost like puppy, just out of their puppy phase. They were all like, nobody tells you. You know you are prepared and you know it is going to be a lot of work and you know it is going to be tough, but nobody prepared me for this. It's a lot of fun. I love Denver to bits, but it's a lot of work. At the end of the day, try just to Follow your gut. If you feel there's something wrong with your dog, then take him to the vet. If you feel like someone is wrong when they are estimating his character or anything like that, follow your own instinct. And please, please don't only watch training channels that are only have very well behaved dogs because you will get really insecure and your puppy is fine. He's fine, he's doing perfect, and you are doing perfect. So that is what I wanted to show you. I must say that I really loved everything I used. There's nothing I think is a real dud. I really love this look. I love the powder kiss. This formula is so comfortable and stunning. It makes my teeth a little bit more yellow, but yeah, I'm not a Hollywood like with the blue teeth and stuff like that. Okay, ladies, thank you so much for watching. I hope you loved this video. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I would love to see you in my next one. Bye.